So it's been almost a year now since I made the video where I found this camper shell for my truck on Facebook Marketplace and I took it, we had it paint matched at a local body shop, we installed it in the video, and then I told you that it was time for me to start camping out of the bed of this truck and I wanted to build a really cool place where I could do some solo ca uh, kayak camping trips out, you know, by myself and sleep comfortably in the back of this truck, even though this is a tiny, tiny bed. This is a Tacoma short bed. It's less than five feet long, and it's gonna be very complicated to build a space like this. And that's kind of why you haven't seen any more videos on this. You know, we, we made a few videos and I started the progress of converting it. I made a video where we added the Billy Bar's tailgate cover, and then I made a video where we installed the bed rug, and then the Prince Who roof rack, and then I just quit. I started working on other projects. We built the camping trailer, the chicken coop in the backyard, and then I built the solo kayak trailer, and now we just finished the double, ca uh, the double kayak trailer last week, and I want to get back on this. So I made myself, I went and bought the lumber, I got it here in the shop today, and I figured out, I think I figured out, I've got it drawn on the whiteboard, I'm going to go over it with you guys, and we're going to start cutting wood today and building a bed back here, and I found out that I can't sleep, you know, I'm five foot nine, I'm not that tall, but I'm a lot taller than four foot eleven, and that's, with the tailgate shut, that is all the space I have this way, but I figured out that if I lay diagonal in the bed of this truck, I can sleep comfortable, I can fully stretch out, I'm not in the fetal position the whole time, and I think that I can get away with that. Now, I could just build a straight platform above the you know, fender wells back here like most people do. You get on YouTube or Google and start searching you know, tiny truck beds, and that's the main thing that people do. They'll either buy that deck drawer system and throw a mattress on top, or they'll just build a platform and, and make you know, homemade drawers up under it or whatever. I don't want to go that route. If you follow along, you know that I overbuild everything. I try to make everything customized, and I try to get the most out of an area or out of a space, and I plan on adding a lot of stuff to this. I want AC, I want to be able to put my diesel heater back here, I want power, I want lights, I want, I want this to be comfortable, I don't want to dread going camping, I want to look forward to it. And I think I figured out a way to do it where I can design a bed, we're going to build it, we're going to put it in here, I ordered the carpet to match it so everything's going to look, you know, pretty custom back here, I don't want it to look like I just got a bunch of wood back here in, you know, in a sleeping bag. It's going to look nice, we're going to put a legit bed, legit lighting, we're going to do some upholstery work and stuff like that, but I, I want to build it so that I can still utilize this much space as well as have a bed. So we're not going to build this big platform. I think we're going to build something a little different. It's going to be unique, I haven't seen anybody try this yet or do it, but I think I figured out to get the most out of this little bitty space as we can. Let's go over to the whiteboard. I'll show you what I got. I've got the lumber here. Today's video, we're going to start it. I don't know how far we're going to get, but we're going to start cutting it, uh, trying to put the concept that I've got in my head together. And, you know, we can make some changes on the way if we have to, but the way I've got it figured out, we're going to have one single drawer system. We're going to have storage underneath for my long gear, like the chairs and stuff. I can still slide in here. I got a fold out gazebo that I think I should be able to slide in here and have that space and that room to haul it without piling stuff up on the bed. So let me show you what I got, then we're gonna make a checklist, everything that I want in here, and we're just gonna start knocking this stuff off over the next couple of weeks and build this out into a really cool place to micro camp when I'm out solo by myself. All right, so here's a quick rundown of what I'm thinking that I'm gonna do to build this out in this tiny space. So like I said, this whole length here, as you can tell, this is the bed of my truck, the tailgate's open. This is my tailgate here, my little billy bars area here, my billy bar pad is right here. Anyway, the, the width, or the length, I should say, from here to here with the tailgate shut, I have four foot 11 inches, and that is it. And then from here, from edge to edge, I've got four foot eight inches, and that is it, that is all I've got. So we've gotta be able to build a bed frame, like I just told you, and it's gotta be able to be usable in the bed of this truck. So what I wanna do is build a frame that goes over the top of my fenders right here, and on this side, it's gonna come all the way down the full length, and then we're gonna come over roughly 16 inches. Now, it might change. I've been kind of in between 16 to 20 inches. We're gonna come off of this wall here, and then instead of going all the way to here and back up and making a full platform, we're gonna shoot straight to here. And this is gonna cover this fender, and as soon as, you know, as soon as we pass this fender mark right in here somewhere, it's where we're gonna cut it off. So it's gonna be a diagonal bed. 
Well, up under this bed, the framing I got is two by tens, and that's I got those because that's the same height from the floor of the bed of this truck to the top of these fender wells is roughly the same exact height of a two by 10, which is nine and a quarter inches, somewhere in there. But anyway, we're gonna have a two by 10 that's gonna run straight back here. You can't see that color for some reason. Let me grab a different color. We're gonna have a two by 10, there we go. It runs from there all the way to here. And then we're gonna have a two by 10 that runs across in between the two fenders up against the back of my cab. And we're gonna have one right here. And then we're gonna have one right here. And the reason that I'm adding these, and none of this is gonna be bolted, my, bolted to my truck. So I just, I'm gonna put that out there. I'm not drilling any holes in the bed of my truck. The way I've kind of I've kind of designed this in my head is we should be able to assemble this in the bed of the truck and it will be heavy enough and tight enough in there that it's gonna kind of lock itself in place. Especially with the tailgate shut, you know, even if it was loose in there, it's not gonna go anywhere. But anyway, that's my two by tens we're gonna have in there. And the reason I've got a long one coming through here is not only for the support in the middle, because this top sheet is gonna be three quarter inch plywood. So we should be good there. This span from here to here is gonna be our biggest span across, you know, or maybe, you know, right in here somewhere. And even that, that's gonna be less than three foot. I think it's gonna be just a little bit over two foot. So I'm, I'm not worried about that little bit of area right there. If we end up having to, we could always put a brace you know, somewhere in here. But I want this to be open up underneath. So imagine this is the end of our three quarter inch plywood. I want storage under here, because like I said, I want to be able to store my trolling motor, my chairs, you know, my foldable camping chairs. I want those to be able to slide straight up under here, but I also want all of this space right here. All of this is going to be the floor of my bed on top of my bed rug, and I'll get to that. I'll get to why I want that in just a minute, but let me tell you about this space. This space is going to be a drawer. I didn't want this to be just dead space, so I want to put a drawer front here something we can pull out and it will extend all the way over the tailgate and we can put camping supplies in there, fishing gear, whatever we need, but that will be up under here. We'll probably end up maybe putting another two by 10 over here to give something you know sturdy for this to sit on. And then we've got a drawer here, we got storage under this side right here and this whole open space right here. And the reason I want that to be open, let me switch colors so you can see here, is I want my AC unit. Now, I made a video last year when I got into this camping, this truck camping stuff. A company sent me this portable air conditioning unit, and I, I can't remember the name of the video where I shared it, but I'll, I'll put the video right here and you can click it and check it out. But I've got this AC unit that you can keep it inside of a vehicle and run it, but you gotta have, it comes with this tube where you have to run the exhaust out. And it's really tall. It's actually taller than my bed frame would be, or we would be able to stick it up under there, but I don't have that room. We don't have that option. So I, that's why I needed this whole area here. Not only that, I wanted this area here so when we're climbing in and out, I'm not climbing from the ground to the top of my bed. I, we're gonna be able to kind of step up in the bed, have a place to kick our dirty shoes off and then get on the mattress. I don't have to worry about pulling crap on top of the mattress and we get all this extra storage underneath. So I might even put me a little welcome rug right here so we can clean our feet off before we get in the bed. But anyway, the AC unit, this is gonna be our AC unit area. When, you know, when it's hot during the winter, we won't have to take it with us. But I've got these windows. So if you can picture, this is a window on the side of the camper shell. And I'm gonna build a way to, my windows slide open, so they slide like this way. So I'll be able to pull this glass open and have an area here that I can run the exhaust tube up and I'm gonna build something that covers the window with a hookup that we can hook up our exhaust tube to blow the exhaust out. That way we can run this AC unit in this tiny space and it's gonna get cold quick. I did a test run with it yesterday out here in the garage. It was like 90 degrees in my shop and I hooked this up, I ran the exhaust to the window, I shut everything up in there, and I got it down below 60 degrees in the back of this truck yesterday. So this is gonna work great. It's super quiet, you'll be able to chill out in here. If I get caught in a rainstorm out on the lake, I can climb back here, kick on that AC, and be comfortable while I'm in the bed of the truck. But, and then during the winter, I wanna be able to hook up, I've got that Chinese diesel heater, I've got a video on it, I'll list it, I'll link it right here for you too. But I've got that Chinese diesel heater, heater during the winter that we can leave the AC unit 
at home and pop the diesel heater there, use the same hookup to blow the exhaust out for the heater and have heat in the back of the truck for those winter camping trips when we go out fishing or you know overlanding or anything like that. Not to mention, now I've got this area, this is me right here, to sleep comfortably because I'm gonna be able to lay diagonal. And that gives me a little area here, maybe later on we'll look into this space that we're, I'm gonna have available for me here that we could add maybe a hanging shelf off the T-Track system because you know the Tacoma bed has got this T-Track that runs around the corners. I might be able to make me like a little shelf right here with some cup holders in it, a phone stand, whatever, and have that little area kind of hovering above the mattress because I want the mattress to go this full length. I want this whole area to be the mattress so I can roll around, you know, as much as I can roll around in the back of this truck. But anyway, I can get comfortable there. But all right, gonna quit rambling on. We gotta get to this build. Hopefully, out of all this chicken scratch, you have figured out what is in my brain and what I'm wanting to do with the bed of this truck. We've got very little space to work with. The lumber's here. I think I'm just still talking right now because I'm trying to keep myself from starting this build, but I gotta quit. It's time to, it's time to start this build. I wanna get to where I can sleep in the bed of this truck and do these camping trips. So let's go start cutting some wood and framing this bed out. All right, the first piece we're gonna cut, like I said, we're gonna kind of build this and assemble it as we go in the bed. So I'm not gonna build this outside of the truck and then try to put it in. We're gonna build it in place. So the first board is gonna be the one that goes back here. Let's see if I can get a little light in there. We're gonna cut this length here. So we're gonna have a two by 10 that runs against this back wall and then we'll do our side boards and then we'll do our long board here. And by doing it this way, I can then determine where we want this long board that's gonna run down the center. Like I said, I want the drawer to be as wide as we can get it, but I also wanna to continue to have this area over here to get in and out of the truck. So anyway, we'll cut the board from, to go from that backboard to here, and then we can adjust it as we need it. And then we get to cut the plywood. The plywood is four by eight, as you probably already know, most plywood comes in a sheet of four by eight. Since this area over the top is four foot eight inches, that means we're gonna have an eight inch area over here where we're gonna have to piece in a, you know, another piece of plywood to go there. So we're gonna, we'll, we'll cross that T when we get there. But first let's get to cutting these two by tens, getting them put in place. We're gonna start with that back one back there.
All right, guys, I pulled a late night last night getting everything buttoned up on this part of the build. I got the carpet on every piece of wood that I wanted to. I built the bench, you know, that we I added up top. I even installed some really cool cup holders up there on the bench. I added some trim pieces and I was able to use every bit of the stuff I bought. And I didn't buy much. As you've seen just now in the little speed clip I did, I bought one sheet of plywood and two two by 10 boards. One was a 10 footer, one was an eight footer. So I spent less than a hundred bucks on the three pieces of wood. And then I ordered that one piece of carpet. I think it was 72 by 75 inches. And when I first got it, I looked at it, laid it in the floor. and I was like, man, I should have bought more, but I was literally able to use almost all of it. This is the scraps I have left right here. I was so efficient with cutting it, everything. And that's how much two by 10 I have left. And I've got these two pieces and this piece left of my plywood. And that is it. And a little bit of carpet, you know, clips left about that big, you know, nothing bigger than that really. But anyway, I was really efficient with it. And if you want to build something like this in your truck, it's not that hard. It's, it's really just have a game plan go buy the lumber and just do it. I put this off for way too long. But anyway, I know you guys are dying to see the final product because I, I'm really proud of how it turned out. Now remember, this is just gonna be part one. Next, we're gonna be adding the AC. We're gonna be adding the power. I wanna do some window curtains in there. I wanna do something really cool like a topographic, like some black ones with white lines, almost kind of how my my marine mat is on my kayak. You know how when we installed that, it's got that topo look to it. So if you guys know where I could find some fabric like that to make me some cool curtains in there, you know, black with the white or gray topographic lines, I think that would be really cool. Let me know in the comments, but yeah, let's get in here. I'm dying to show you guys how this turned out. Now y'all keep in mind, this is the short bed Tacoma. This is the smallest bed made. And I think I was able to pack a pretty big punch in the back of this truck. So when it's completely open, this is what it looks like. The carpet, I will say in the sun, I've got the truck turned around so we got some sun in here, but you can see it is a different shade. Now it's close enough that it's not gonna drive me too crazy, but you can see there's a little bit more of a blue tint to this color versus my carpet. If you get up really close, you can kind of see the difference, but probably like I showed my wife, you can see when you back up right here, but when I showed my wife, she didn't notice until I pointed it out. So. It's not that big of a deal, but so I built the platform, as you can see, like I talked about in the beginning of the video, where I can use this area here to get in and out. So if I need to climb in, I can just climb in right here and then get up on the bed. I'm not climbing straight onto the mattress. This will be covered in a mattress. I'm hoping to find a, a pretty good one, three or four inches thick that I can cut to fit on top of here. Under here, I've got a ton of storage. As you can see, let's see if I can set the camera down and show you. I'm able to put full length chairs in here. I've got tables, I got sleeping bags. I got all kind of stuff. Still able to use this storage up under here and keep stuff out of the way. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I'll be able to slide my trolling motor under here. And the good thing is, is I can get in and out right here without crawling on the bed. I don't know how many times I've said that, but that was the main reason that I built this like this, that and using the AC unit over in the corner. I mounted my fire extinguisher right up under the lip there. I figured that'd be a really good place for it. It's kind of out of the way and you definitely need one of those if you're gonna be camping or cooking, you know, out of the back of your truck. Here's the drawer. I found these handles. These are boat handles. I used to do a lot of boat repair and boat work and I've got a bunch of random boat stuff here at the house, but I seen that I had two of them. So I used one here on this drawer and one on this little secret cubby hole. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute why I built that into the bed up there. But the drawer works great. And as you can tell, it's a pretty big drawer. It holds a whole lot of stuff. I've got my, I just put a bunch of stuff in here really to see how it worked, but I've got my bug hammock. Uh, you know, my bug net for my hammock. I've got my hammock down there, some bug spray, uh, camping essentials, you know, all kind of fire starters. I've got a blanket, propane grill, some extra propane for my little uh, fire starter things and Ozark Trail blanket, first aid kit, all kind of stuff fit in this drawer. I built this little divider in here, but I made it so you can pull it out. I just got it kind of trimmed on the edges. I cut the board shorter than the drawer 
and I put some of that foam that you know you use for gasket sealing around doors or windows and I stuck that to the edge so this one can pull out if I want to you know take it out later it's not a permanent divider in there but it slides on the carpet Ugh, just fine a little heavy right now because I got a bunch of crap in it and let's see let's climb up in here it's probably gonna echo now so I'll show you what I got here this is going to be where I install the battery and the solar power stuff. Right now, I don't really have much in here, but a couple of battery packs. I just kind of wanted to stick them in there to show you how big it actually is. I've got my Dakota Lithium Power Box 10 in there. Then I got my Energizer Power Bank in here. But the plan is, is I'm going to put a full-size lithium uh, battery in here, like a 100 amp hour. And I'm going to put a controller in here. I'm going to run everything out so that we can put solar panel on the roof. And it will all be kind of tucked away up under the mattress. You know, this is going to be up under the bed. It'll be out of the way. But if I need to get in there to fix anything or charge the battery or anything like that, I'll have room to do it. And here's the shelf I was able to build. And if you've seen in the little clip that I just showed you guys how I've got this mounted down, worked out great. I didn't drill any holes and this shelf is locked in and not going anywhere. What I did was I cut a slot into the wood. It's hard to film in here guys, so just bear with me. I cut a slot into the wood, like a hole, and I ran my clamp in through there. This is the same clamp that holds the top to my truck like this. But what I was able to do is run this part of the clamp through the wood and while I tightened it up, it locks it down to the truck bed and it pulls the camper shell down and holds the camper shell on all at the same time. I added me a couple of cup holders and it's getting warm in here, but here's how it turned out. It's a nice snug fit. I got my lights, the lights that I installed last year in the truck, they just worked out to be right above the, the floor here. Let me climb back out. Ugh. But yeah, what do you guys think? I am very happy with it. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to start mocking up everything for the AC. The AC is going to go right here. The tubes are going to come up and connect to my outtake. That's going to blow the exhaust out of a little area that we're going to have for the window. All I'm going to have to do is open this window a little bit, just enough to clear where I, you know, wherever I put my thing that I plan on building to take my exhaust out and we'll be able to use the AC in here. And we're definitely going to need it because it gets hot quick in the back of this truck. That one little fan that I've got just in there, I mean, that ain't gonna do nothing but churn some air up. It gets hot in there pretty quick, but I think this is gonna work out great. I'm really, really happy with the way this thing turned out. Y'all let me know what you think. If you guys enjoyed this build, make sure you're hitting that like button and share the video. It really helps me out a lot. It helps kind of grow my channel and get it out to more and more people that are interested in stuff like this. And if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can follow along with this build. We're nowhere near done. Like I said, uh, next thing I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to try to find the mattress that we need. I'm going to order it. Uh, then I'm going to order a bunch of other cool stuff. I'm going to figure out how we're going to do the lighting in there and the solar you know, the battery, I think I've lined up where I'm going to be getting my battery system and my solar and controller and all that. So I got to get that ordered, but that video is coming up. So if y'all want to see that and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell if you want to, if you, you know, it'll help notify you when I do upload these videos. I'm kind of on a Monday routine now. I'm trying that out. A lot of you have noticed I was uploading on Thursdays. Now I'm back to Mondays and eventually I'm going to end up hopefully doing two videos a week where I can do a Monday video and a Friday video. So y'all stick around for now. We're just going to do these Monday uploads. If you like what you've seen so far, be sure you're sharing the content. Hit me up on Facebook. Hit me up on Instagram. Let me know what you think about the build and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.